in the Europa Countdown studio this evening. Paul Webb. Thank you. I like yours as well, mate. Lee Harris. You're not going to say anything. You're not going to say anything this evening, Lee. And Mark <laughs> Mark Hollis. You guys seem to despise uh, the glamour group image. I always wonder what you think of, uh, of groups such as Wham, Duran Duran, or the Drum Theater. Mark, maybe you could tell me something about that. I, I really don't think about things like that. All I think about are making records. You know, Im image is a very simple thing. Im image should be something that is just based upon your music. I, I don't think beyond that. I don't consider other bands. I just consider making records. That's what we're here for. Do you find yourselves often uh, limited as a trio for, for the number of instruments that you can play? Uh, well, live we take on more people anyway. How many? Uh, it depends. I mean, eight, it, it, eight or nine usually, yeah. Yeah, and then they play the violins, or do you have a lot of synthesizers on stage, especially with a new tour? Uh, yeah, I mean, we work things out after we've done the album, and then we work out we're going to do it live. I mean, I mean, with with the thing with this live touring, there there is purely from a point of view of economics there is a, a, an extent to which we will have to use synthesizers live i mean it's, it's just a fact because you you didn't use any synth uh, synthesizers on the album so i was wondering if you're going to be touring you're going to have to use yeah. them see this album really with this new album we're we're looking at a, a basis of maybe 15 to 20 people you see from from a live point of view of touring we can't take that number we are limited to around sort of eight or nine people so that's what I mean, consequently, there will be areas where we will have to rely slightly on, on synthesizers. But that's, that's more in terms of the old material than the new, because with, with the new stuff, there will be some things on this album which we will not be able to do live, because there's no way at all we will resort to tapes or that side of things. And then with the other stuff, it is to an extent sort of, you know, organ and piano, Based, you know, with a lot of percussion, really. Uh, your your favorite video? Which one is that? The group's favorite video? What? What the yeah. Cure? No, Diana Ross, isn't it? No, I thought we was told. Oh, the Cure! Oh, well, come on, we we. Cure. In between <laughs> days. Uh, why is it your favorite video? Because we were told to say it was. <laughs> Very good answer. Okay, here's Talk Talk's favorite video, The Cure, and in between days. The Cure and In Between Days video request by Talk Talk, even though they were told to say it was the, the yeah, you missed it, but don't worry, it was broadcast. Uh, excuse me? Sorry. That's all right. Um, uh, on the subject of videos, uh, in uh, Life's What You Make It, you had a lot of insects and, and bugs. Uh, no food in that one, I don't believe. Uh, could you tell me maybe why all the bugs and insects? Ah. Uh. Well, we find animals more fascinating than ourselves, really. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why we do it. I, I think animals are beautiful people. Oh, oh okay, I understand. Because you also have um, a lot of uh, animals on your new album, The Color of Spring. Let's plug that here for you, see if I can get that on the camera. Um, I see a lot of butterflies in there, but uh, some pretty eccentric ones. Uh, what's the reason for the, for the animals on the cover here? What, are there, is there any meaning? of different colors and different types of uh, butterflies. You'd best ask the artist. And who was the artist for the album cover? James Marsh. James, James Marsh. <laughs> Just a crazy kind of guy, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, the, the, um, <laughs> okay, hold on now. It took you, uh, I think, two years to, to complete this album. Does the record company give you that much freedom to, to take all that time and spend all that money? Yeah, the, the freedom that we've had for making this album has been given to us by, by the success that we had with the last album. So the freedom that's been given to us is really down to the people who bought our last album. I mean, it would be true to say, when we made the It's My Life album, the, the record company gave us freedom, you know, to make that album the way we did, because at that point, we, we hadn't sold many records, so we, we were lucky, but from the point of view of this album, that freedom's been given by the people that bought it, not by the record company. Okay, you're here uh, this evening to do your new single, Living in Another World. Um, I listened to the lyrics, it came across kind of a sad song, or a breaking up song, maybe. Uh, Mark, since you wrote it, maybe you could tell me what the lyrics are about exactly, since I couldn't find out for myself. 
See how long you can keep this up without laughing. Well, that's not bad. Paul, maybe you could tell me. Now, what I would like to say is um, we'd like to thank everyone in Holland who have bought the record because it's one of our favourite countries. It was the first place where Talk Talk actually broke as a band. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Great lyrics, great lyrics, guys. If you could go up to our official stage, I think Mark is already up there. But <laughs> Crazy guys. Talk Talk doing a new single here in Europa Countdown. He's living in another world.